Won't somebody think of the carbon? That's the question being put forward by Sierra Club Executive Director Michael Bruhn. He and his organization have opposed President Trump's cabinet picks. Michael Bruhn joins us from Oakland, California. Michael, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, Hi, let me Tucker. just say, I've always liked the Sierra Club. I grew up camping in the Sierras. I gave money to the right. Sierra Club. I think John Muir was really cool. Um, I read your, your founding statement about protecting and enjoying the environment, and I totally agree with that as a sportsman. But then I awesome. see you come out on all kinds of issues that don't appear related at all to me to the environment, and I'm confused. For example, you all issued a press release the other day saying that President Trump's border tax on Mexico he's going to use to pay for the wall is xenophobic. Now, it may be, or may, you know, we could kind of debate it, but why is that within your purview as an environmental organization? Well, look, uh, part of the Sierra Club's job, our mission is to explore, enjoy, and protect the planet. And we don't think that um, uh, separating some parts of America from others is, is a good way to do that. The Sierra Club stands to protect the rights of all Americans to have clean air, clean water, uh, and a healthy democracy in order to fight for their rights. Uh, if we start to deny a pathway to citizenship for millions of Americans, uh, then those are the Americans who won't have an ability to uh, use our democracy to, to fight for a better world. It seems a little bit of a stretch, but so are you against putting gates on the national parks? Because that kind of divides the country. Are we against putting gates on national parks? Yeah, you uh, said you're against a border wall because you're against, you're against there, dividing barriers between there, places. There aren't, there aren't gates on our national parks. Well, sure there There's are. I mean, if you fences. want to drive into Yellowstone, you've got to kind of, you know, drive through a little gate and pay the money and all that. I mean, in other words, Protecting the environment sometimes means walling it off from too many people. Not really. No? Not really. Oh. There's, 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 there's no gate around Yellowstone. There's, there is a little fence where you have to pay a $20 fee. Th that's what I'm there's saying. Not a, right. There's not a wall around it. Okay. It's like there shouldn't be a wall around our country. Okay. Have you so, been to Yellowstone? Yeah, I was just there. Um, and you okay. kind of drive through and pay your dough. Um, so, but my question is, yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a little more specific than that. So, I mean, we can have a debate about sure. walls and xenophobia and all that. But again, why is that germane to your mission as expressed in your mission statement? So, I'll give you another example. Abortion. So, last year on the anniversary of Roe v. Wade, you all issued a press release saying that the Sierra Club stands in solidarity, I think I'm quoting, with Planned Parenthood. Now, people feel that way. Okay. What does that have to do with the environment? Why does legal abortion make the environment better? Well, we believe in empowering women's rights. We think that uh, women who have rights uh, and who have the ability to have choice about their reproductive, um, make, make their own reproductive choices, uh, will help to produce strong families and will help to protect the environment at the same time. Sierra well, so Club is pro-choice. But why? I mean, I, I get that you're pro-choice. That's fine. But that doesn't, what does that have to do with the environment? Like, how specifically does more abortion or legal abortion help the environment? Well, it helps to address uh, the number of people that we have on this planet. Uh, we feel that one of the ways in which we can get to a sustainable population is to empower women uh, to make choices about their own families. Okay, so fewer people is better for the environment. All right, well, given that, that that's your position, which is a position, then the United States population has pretty much doubled in the last 50 years. It's now at about 225-ish million people. So doubling in 50 years is a pretty quick rate of expansion. Most of that has come from immigration, as you know. So why would the Sierra Club, if it's concerned about population's effect on the environment, and you should be, in my view, why would you be agitating for more immigration? We're not agitating for more immigration. We believe that the people who are in America should have a pathway to citizenship. Well, but you're against the wall. Well, sure. But I mean, if they're here illegally, why wouldn't it be better for the environment to make them leave? That would be fewer people. Crowded countries are tougher on the environment, obviously, as you well know. So why wouldn't it be better for the environment to have fewer people here? Because it's wrong, Tucker. I live in California. I have undocumented immigrants who are on my son's Little League team. They go to my children's school. These are families. These are people who okay. uh, are part of our economy. They're part I, I of our it. environment. We go, when we go to parks, we play with them. We hang out with them. Oh, yeah. These are folks who shouldn't be deported just because of um, your political de beliefs or other people's political no, beliefs. No, but I'm not arguing think for that their, right. I'm not arguing that that's their good deportation. Policy. We don't think it's good environmental uh -huh. policy. We don't think it's good national policy. Nothing to do with the environment, and neither does transgender rights. Now, you could argue that, they're, that it's great, transgender bathrooms are great, and that's legitimate. I mean, I think it's a fair argument. It has nothing to do with the environment, you. and yet you've issued that. a press release saying, and I'm quoting, the lack of access to safe restrooms for transgender nonconforming citizens is an urgent matter. It may be. Why is it an urgent matter for the Sierra Club? What does it have to do with uh, the environment? 
Again, we think it's the right thing to do. The Sierra Club is the country's oldest and largest environmental organization. We're an iconic organization, whether you like us or not. You used to be a member of ours. Maybe you still are. You even are. listening to my questions? What does it have to do with the environment? I'm not attacking your position on it. I want to know why it's germane to the mission of the Sierra Club. Can you answer that we, or no? We, I was about to answer it before you interrupted me. I was saying we took a position. We take a position on the border wall or on reproductive rights, we join the Women's March, or on transgender rights, because we think it's the right thing to do. Because many Sierra Club members may be gay, they may be transgender, they may be Latinos, they may even be undocumented. We believe it's important to stand up for people's rights so that we can all stand together to advocate for a better environment. That, that's fine, then become, we'll go work for the DNC, but you're not running an environmental group, you're running a, a left-wing advocacy organization with every trendy issue gets thrown into the same basket and it dilutes your mission. Do you not see that or no? Uh, I most definitely am running an environmental group. I thought that that's what we were going to be talking about today. The other issues that we're working on, the Sierra Club is working hard to uh, transition off of fossil fuels, to move towards clean energy. That's fine. We've been working diligently and having great success at protecting millions of acres of public lands. Okay. We also take positions that our members care about that might not be the traditional issues that you grew up on, but they're important to our members and the Sierra okay. Club members. Okay, I'm just saying you're, you're, you're turning issues. off a lot of people like me who care about the environment and want to help, but why would I sign up for this? It has nothing to do with your core mission and you've hijacked it and it's just distressing to see that you've done that. I hope you're in. We're actually, we're actually turning on a lot right. of members. We're breaking records about membership okay. in the United States. Right. We're having well, a surge in membership because good. of these issues and many others. Congratulations. You, just, you don't have my support Thanks. anymore. I'm sorry. Thanks, Michael. All right, Tucker. Up